going live and my app decided to update itself. But here I am, Heather Boyd Wired here, Wired ID TV, every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And today I had a special request from Mirta to do some dog angels because last week we made cat angels for Ember and this week we're making dog angels. So I have my drawings here. We're just going to go for it. So let me flip my screen and I could see who is coming on live. So let me just flip the screen. There we go. And I will bring the templates over so you guys can see what we're working on. And I'm going to open up my computer so I could see who is hopping on and my computer has low batteries. So I'm gonna have to plug in my computer. We're getting there, people. It's taking me a little while, but we are definitely getting there. I just uh, have to set up, see what's going on. I'm gonna open up the live stream, see who's here. Oh my goodness, there we go. Yeah, it was very strange. I was all set up to go live and my uh, app decided to update. So let's plug in the computer. And so we can see who is on. I think we're good here. Yeah, we're plugged in. Just have to figure out where to put all my cords. Oh, we have a lot of people hopping on. So let me just move these over so you guys can have a look at what we're doing today. And if you were here last week, we did the cat angels. And that turned out super well. Um, oh my goodness, I'm very tangled. So let me just unplug something for a second and bring this around and we are going to get set up. When it rains, it pours and there we go. I think we're good. So let me just put an elastic around my cords so they do not come apart. I'd rather be prepared rather than to have my battery die. So who's here? Let's have a look. Uh, Amber's here. Tree Sap Girl, if you guys don't already know, that's Amber and she's the moderator of my YouTube channel. Love your shirt. Thank you. I love my shirt too. And hi Corey. Hi Mirta. Hi Stargazer. How are you? And live chat. Okay, that's a little pop-up. And so, perfect. And who else is here? That's who we've got for now. So, Sorry for the delay, guys. I've got my tools. Let's move this one over. I have my flush cutters. These are Zeron flush cutters, Zeron tweezer nose pliers. These are my favorite flat nose pliers, but from John Bead Company. Um, I think you can, you can still buy them, but that's a wholesaler. It's hard to get equipment there. I love my round nose pliers. Those are from a hardware store. And then of course my favorite small round nose pliers. And hi, Kat, nice to see you. And as always, I'll probably start with a basic 20 gauge wire. That seems to be the best way to go. So I have the 20 gauge in silver. I also have a beautiful rose gold color. This, these are the artistic wires. So I have rose gold in the different sizes. I usually go for 18, 20, and 22. And then I have the tarnish resistant gold in the different colors too. So that's what we're working with today. I have some beads. If we need beads, I have my selection of beads here. So let me move those ones over. Hi, Dana, how are you? Dana or Dana? I have, I have friends that pronounce it both ways. And let's just get started. So Mirta, maybe you can tell me which one you like, that which one you want me to start with, because you had asked for the dog angels. And then we'll go from there. Hi, Bernice. Nice to see you. So if you guys don't know, Itsy Bitsy Imaginarium is Bernice. Bernice was the winner of Live Wires for the Win Season 2. And she has a great YouTube channel that just hit 1,000 subs. So congratulations, Bernice. And if you guys want to hop over at some point and follow her channel, subscribe to her channel. She does uh, also wire uh, tutorials as well. So you can have a look at her channel. Hi, Elaine. So Mirta, which... Which um, which doggy do you like? And we'll just start with that. I'm gonna cut some 20 gauge wire and we'll, the six, both? Hmm, I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one, 
Is that what you mean? I'm not sure. You let me know if that's the one that you want. Oh, you're very welcome, Bernice. Hi, Rosina. Nice to see you. So I'm gonna cut a piece of wire and let me just, yes, that one, okay, let's start with that one. I will get a ruler and so I can have a somewhat idea of how much wire I'm using. My AC just went on and it's cold. I'm gonna put that the other direction. Oof. There we go, direct it the other way. So now, this little guy, so cute. I actually haven't figured out how I'm gonna do him because his legs are sort of at the side. So this was a sketch that I did and I'm not 100% how, sure I'm, how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna figure it out. So maybe I'll start with about 15 inches and hope that that's enough. So we are going to get this uh, and we are going to try this little guy. So what I was thinking for him is maybe we can start with the halo and then work our way around the head. Let's try that and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to start with, and you could also do the halo out of a gold. You can do alternate, you know, different colors on it as well. But maybe just to try something, I'll just try it with the one piece of wire. So let's go ahead and start in this somewhat to the center and do a halo. So we're gonna bring this one around and you guys can let me know in the comments what you're working on with your wire stuff. So I've been working a lot with flat wire. I've been having a lot of fun with the artistic uh, flat wire. There's a lot of fun things you can do with it. And my last video, I actually did a, um, I did a hole punch. I hole punched into the, into the flat wire. So that was something different and it worked quite well. My hole was a little large, so I, or, I've ordered a smaller hole punch. I have a 1.5 millimeter hole punch and really the 1.25 is better. Hi, Lisa. So now, number two, love all of them. So yeah, I'll, work, I'll do some others after. I usually do two or three. So let's go ahead and just try to twist. Oh, usually when I twist, I like to put this, this side over the other side. It depends on if you're left or right-handed, how, it's, how it's, you're comfortable doing this. So if I crisscross these and just do a little twist, okay, just to have the halo. And then we're gonna start forming. I probably, I made, I think I made the halo too. I made the halo a little too small now, but I wonder if I can just try to make it a little bigger. If we, if we um, bring these ones in a little bit, sometimes we can just make it a little bit bigger. Sometimes proportions are really difficult, but it's gonna give you an idea. So we, we're gonna start here. Yeah, I find that ha halo a little bit small, but we're just gonna go for it. So we're gonna bring this one down and then go up for the ears and down and out. And then over here, we're gonna go up for the ears and down and out. So those are, halo's a little crooked, that's okay. We can fix that after. So there's the ears and then we're gonna bring that one out and then we're gonna bring this back on itself so we're gonna bend it back on the self. I'm gonna to try to make sure my hands are close enough. I wonder if I move down. No, I wanna move more this way. There we go. So I wanna be close enough that you guys can see me well. I'm just trying to get in the right position. So we're gonna bring that one down and down there. So that's one ear. Maybe we have to bring it in a little bit more. And then this one too, we're gonna to bend this to the back, up, and down. So this is our basic shape for the top of the dog. It's a little bit hard to see, but I will put photos of these in the community section after the live stream. So now what we wanna do is bring this one down and I like the idea of having the eyes closed, like sort of almost looking down or just closed. So it's like a peaceful kind of look. So now we're going to Bring this one in and then bend it back on itself with the tweezer nose pliers. Give it a good little push. And then take that 
and bend it up again here. And then, whoopsies. It's hard when it's so small. I should probably try to make things a little bigger on the live stream so you guys can actually see them properly. So there's one. It's not perfect, but it's got, we've got the idea there. So now we want to bring this one in again to do like the little eye, make sure it's somewhat even. Kelly letters, exactly. That was, that was uh, a fun project too, doing the doggy letters. I have the cat font. I think I did all the letters of the cat font, but I think for the dogs, do you remember Amber? I think I just did Callie's uh, letters. I don't think I did. I don't think I did the whole alphabet, but I should. I should definitely do the whole alphabet. This was like a E, I think, something like that. I think I pointed the the um, the paw up a little bit for this one. So now we have what looks like the doggy with the eyes closed, and what I want to do now is bring this one around. Bring this one around and then form a little bit of a nose. But I think I have to bring this to the back, I guess. Uh, or the front, I have to figure that out. Okay, so we're gonna bring that. So there's like the little nose. And you can make it pointy or you can make it more round, whatever you like. It depends, I guess, on the dog breed. So we're gonna bring the, this one around. And I don't know if I want it round, round, but you can always adjust it if you don't want it like round. You can make it more narrow because sometimes if things are too round, they look a little too cutesy, which is all right. It just depends on the look that you want. So there's the idea there. And then what we want to do is this one's going to come out to form the shoulders. And keep in mind, these are all experimental. I've never made this type of dog angel before. I've definitely done other dog angels, but not quite like this. So we're just trying out a new, a new design. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not, but we're gonna try it. So there's the eyes, a little, little bit crooked, but we're gonna do them the best we can. And then the, this would be sort of the, I guess you'd call them shoulders. So this would come down and then this one too would come down a little bit here. So those try to follow how low do they have to go? Maybe a little bit lower here. Should be all right. Out and in, down, and then we're going to do little paws. So I don't know if he's going to be big enough. So I want to just make them pretty rounded. The head's maybe going to be a little big now, but I don't want to run out of wire either. So maybe I'll bring this down a little bit more. Okay, there. And then we want to make a kind of a heart. So if we bring this one in, and we're going to make a little bit of a heart. I think the head's a little too big, but we're just going to try it like this. So if we do a little heart, I might end up starting this one over. We're going to see. So here's the heart. You can also put beads. You can put a heart bead if you want. So we're going to do this, bring that one down, and then form the other foot. So bring that one down and bring this one out and around. See if they're lined up. This one needs to be a little bit bigger. There we go. So here's what we have so far. It looks a little bit like a cow. I'm not sure how that happened, but it's just to try to get the design right. And then I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do those legs at the back. So that's going to be an issue. But maybe what I could do is if I brought this one, okay, I'm going to bring this one maybe behind, okay. I'll bring that one behind and then this one, we're gonna bring this one, 
around and I think we're gonna have to finish it up here. And that would be like the first part of it. We can try it and then see what happens if we just bring it around here. So if we finish it there, we're gonna try that. Hi, Christina. There we go. So we're going to clip that one off. And then now for the, the legs that are behind there, we would just follow that here and then bring this one out to form the legs. And then out, I guess out to the side. Let's see. I don't want it too big either. So if we're gonna bring that one, maybe bring that one up a little more. There we go. It's kind of cute. He's got one leg sticking out to the side. And you could just do one leg sticking out if you want, or let's try to do it like the drawing and do two, two legs. So we're going to bring this one around. And then we're going to bring this one over here. And then we're going to try to do the leg on the other side. So let me just bring this one around. Foot's maybe sticking out a little too much. Sometimes you could just roll it in a little bit. You just don't want it to get too bent. So what if we just bring that one around here and then on this side, Make sure it's not too far apart. And this, I can kind of update the template just to show what I'm doing here if it's not obvious in the sketch. So basically I'm just kind of doing another layer of um, wire. You know how sometimes you can get those earrings where like there's the head of the animal, the body and, and the back type of thing. This is sort of the concept of layering up Oh, it's kind of cute. So let me just bring this one down. It's hard to get it centered for sure. And then bring this one down here. Try to make them the same height. And then this one up here and around. Okay, so that's pretty cute. And it's gonna look better when, when I post the picture. You guys are gonna be able to see what it looks like. And looks really cute, actually. So now we just want to make sure it's somewhat centered. And now the hard part is like, how do we finish it? So I think if we just try to finish it at the top, maybe I shouldn't have even done that twist. I could have maybe just left that not twisted, but I think it's okay. If I left just like the wires not twisted, it wouldn't have been so bulky, but if you want to keep it even, you can just wind it around right up to the, below the, that part of the halo. But I think it helps having the halo with one piece of wire because then we're able to um, use it to hold that wire in place. So like I said, this, I find the, I find the halo a little bit small but we're just gonna go with it you don't have to do a halo either let me just adjust these ones yeah it's gonna be much easier to see it in the photo but you can see it has a layer so the head and then the legs are a layer and then the back legs are a layer so you'll see it better in the photo but let me bring it up to show you love it thank you there we go. So you'll see it better in the photo and I might be able to do another one that's a little more clear, but that's the idea. So the design works. Thank you guys. So now which one should we do next? So we have a lot, we have a lot that we can do. The paw is kind of cute too. Maybe we'll do the paw and then I'll do another doggy after. So for the paw, um, I'm thinking maybe we can alternate some colors uh, two. So let me start with the paw in uh, silver and again we can use the 20 or 18. Hey Randy! And the 
trying to think of what I want to do for the halo. If I want to do it in the same, I might do it in the same and then do the wings in gold. So let me cut a piece of wire, like about, I guess, 12 inches long. So there we go. And now, Hope Sears looks as good. Well, I'm sure you guys will do an amazing job, whatever you decide to do. And everybody has their own styles. So, so let's just go ahead and do this one. You could also put a little heart in the paw as well if you did want to. This one, I'm just gonna do it plain, but you could definitely put like a little heart in there. And for now, we're just gonna bring this one around and try to do a, a paw. So what you can do is, I guess there's a few ways you can do it. You could bring this one around and I don't know if you could also do, that would look silly like that. But I think it's better if you just do the, the loops like that, but in theory, or you could do different shapes too. I think there's a lot you can do with that, but um, do the paw in whatever manner that you like. And I'm gonna get these ones. Hi, Christine, you just found me, awesome. So let's go ahead and start to do the toes or pads, I guess they call them for animals. And did you guys know yesterday, I think it was yesterday, was International Cat Day? I posted about it on my on my Facebook. So that was pretty cool. I didn't know about that. My friend posted about it on Facebook and I thought that was fun. I don't have cats. I'm allergic to cats, but I'll have to find out when International Bunny Day is. That would be one to celebrate, that's for sure. So now we have these paws. I I should, sometimes I'm a little I should, I'm a little too precious with these. I should just go really fast with these and then, because sometimes if you're a little too precious with them, it's hard to get them to look right. It, you lose that kind of artistic spontane spontaneity. Sometimes when you overwork things, it just, uh, they start to look funny after a while because you can tell they're overworked. But if sometimes if you go like super fast or often I like to actually make things without tools and I find you can get much uh, softer, more creative lines without the tools, which is interesting. So, and I've also done the paw with the jig. So you can definitely do this with the jig. I'll link up below the, um, the tutorial that I have where I made the dog paw with a jig, with the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit, because that helps to get, it's a very symmetrical design. So it helps to get the, Anyways, that's, that's it. It's not perfect, but that's the idea. Now, if you do want to do the halo with the same wire, um, let me just see what I'm, because I want to also attach the gold uh, for the wings. And I just want to make sure that I do this right. So we're going to bring this one here. So what I might do is just take this one, bring it around here. So that's the first stage. And what I can do is maybe because this might slide. So what if I what if I just do that and clip it? I'm going to clip that one there. And then hi, Tish. So happy you were able to hop on today. So now let's do the halo. We're gonna bring this one out and this time I'm gonna make it a little bigger, I think. It's very tricky to make the halos um, symmetrical too, because you have to go around here and then you have to kind of imagine like how much wire is gonna go there. So that's why sometimes having a template is helpful. So we're gonna bring that one around here. And just which way is my wire coming? Yeah, that should work. So we're gonna bring that one here and then you can have a look if it's somewhat symmetrical. Maybe you want this more, like on a more of an angle, like that type of thing. It's pretty good. And then we can hold this. Hmm. I feel like it's maybe a little bit big. There we go, bring it in a little bit. So we're gonna hold this and bring this one back. Oh, I wanna stay on the camera, the back. And then what I wanna do is I'm going to hook it underneath this one 
we're gonna hook it underneath there and then that's a little hack so it doesn't slip back and forth you leave a gap and then you wind it through the gap so then you have like a nice coil and it's not going to shift back and forth so at that point you can wind it around again if you want do you want to go down a little bit more and then we're going to clip it i was thinking mustafa when i say clip it because he used to think that was so funny but uh he's been really busy so we haven't seen mustafa in a little while and we're going to push in those ends so now we have just the paw with the halo. And then now let's get some wings going. I was trying to make paws yesterday. The paws, yeah, they're not always easy. Finally made one acceptable. Double paw pendant, awesome. Cool. Hi, Rose, Rosemary. Couple minutes late, no problem. Aw, I'm so happy you're here. I have such fun on these live streams working out these uh, designs so it's uh, you never know how it's going to turn out usually it turns out pretty well so let's try another piece it doesn't have to be as long maybe then maybe this one could be about eight inches i'm just using my paper to measure it and let's do what we did before which is to do the wings at the same time so if we take this and we bring this one up here and then we need a round form. I'm going to, I have all my pill bottles here that I call them my babushka dolls with all the other different sizes in them. This I think is going to be a little big though. So let me get, I have Sharpies, but they're also, they're a little bit small. So let me get something in between. I have all my standard round forms. So I have Crayola marker, Sharpie, Sharpies, big, small, and the highlighters. So those are a nice variety of round forms that I like to use. And I'm thinking maybe this one is going to be good. So let's try this one. Yeah, the jig works well for the, for the, for the, um, the paws. And like I said, I, I do have a tutorial for that. So if anybody wants to make the jigs, the paws out of the, with the jig, I'll link that up in the description below. So let's bring this one around and see where that's going to be. That should be good. And then we're going to maybe use a smaller round form to bring this one up here. Keep checking to see if it's a good size. And then we're going to bring this one down here and we can do little loops or you can wind it back and forth so if you want to do like the little back just do it back and forth you can just use your round pliers so we're going to bring that one here and i also have the looping pliers that i use sometimes as well and uh, which are good because they help let me get the looping pliers because they're actually better to use for things like this because then the wings will be a consistent size. So here's the beetle on looping pliers and you'll see these are cylinders so they keep the loops the same size whereas these ones are tapered so the loops will end up being different sizes. So let's take this and hold that and we'll go for this one maybe. Here we start actually start with this one make sure they're the same size so we're going to start with that one and then we can go down here for that one and then we can use this one again and then this this one like this ended up being a little a little um sharp but that's okay this one and then we can go back around here I forget which one we use. I think we use this one. So we're going to bring this one. We don't want them too big either. And maybe I cut my wire too small. So this is the basic shape for the wings. And then we do our magic trick. Let me remove this stuff. For having me, you're, um, you're very welcome. So now we're going to do our magic trick. We're going to woo, open them up like a book. 
So there is our wings, symmetrical. Can't get more symmetrical than that. And the idea would be to put them on here. Now they're a little, they're a little large, but that's okay. And the question is, of course, how in the world do we attach them? Because usually what I do is I wind the wires around here and then I attach them to something. But what I'm seeing here is I don't want to make it too cluttered over here. So maybe I'll just wind them on. See, there's a gap there. I think I'm going to wind them in that gap. So let me just go ahead and adjust these as I need. Just looking at my image. They might be a little big, but you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna bring this one up a little bit. Just bring this one in a little bit. Okay, and maybe what I could do is see how much space I need here. We can make this space maybe a little bit bigger. Oh, I'm gonna use these ones. I'm gonna get in there and just make this a little bit wider so we have more room to uh, wrap it. You can make it even more squared if you wanted to. And we're going to hold this one here. And maybe what we'll start, we'll start the bend. I might even, they're, they're kind of slipping. So I'm going to actually make them more square here. There, I'm going to make that more of a, a right angle bend so that the wire doesn't slip. Now, I don't know if they're even anymore, but so I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference, but I made a more of a right angle bend. And let's see how big it's going to be. Yeah. So let's take this and start the bend here. So it's at a right angle. And then this one also start the bend. So they're not going to slip or anything. And then even if you want to be more careful, it doesn't slip. Take your round pliers, fine round pliers, and bend it down a bit. So now we've really started that bend with the pliers so it doesn't like get distorted when we pull it. So they look awesome, thank you. Hi, Elsa. Good day. Yeah, good day to you, good afternoon. It's um, 2.20 here Eastern time in Montreal. Let me know where, what time it is where you guys are at. So now I'm just gonna hook it in there. And then what I wanna do is wrap, wrap it on there so it's gonna stay. So now really hold that snugly. Uh, this is gonna, let's just trim this now cause it's gonna be really hard to wrap in there. And then I'm gonna get my tweezer nose pliers. These are amazing for reaching into little nooks and crannies. Uh, always in the description of my videos, I have a link to a PDF where you can find out all my favorite tools. And then if you haven't already signed up for my mailing list, you can sign up to receive my Wire Art Essentials ebook that has all kinds of like tips and trips and a more in-depth list of, of tools. You can sign up to get that and then you would be on my mailing list and I send out every, usually every month I send out a free template. I send out updates and things like that. So I'm due to send out a, an a email soon, a newsletter. So here we go. So there's that one. And now we're going to do this one. And uh, yeah, the link to sign up for that, the Wire Art Essentials book is also in the description of all my videos. So there we go. And we're gonna take that one and bring it around here. So now we've just wound it around on either side of the halo. And I think it's gonna be secure enough. They wiggle a little bit, but that's all right. So we've got that and 2.20 in Florida. Yeah, you guys are in the same time zone. Yeah, and Bernice is much later because she's in the UK. So there we go. We're gonna adjust these. So they're in place. Now, the only difference here is now I see that we see that gold line down there and over here, there's no line. So maybe what I should have done is tapered that out a little bit. And at this point, we can maybe adjust it, we'll push it out a little bit. It's going to slightly distort the design of the wings, but I think if you were to do these, you might want to, have them so they're behind 
the paw because I find being on the paw, it's a little bit distracting. I'm, I don't know if there's something I can do about that now. Maybe I can, I bet I can just curve it out a bit. What if I just like curve this bit out a bit to follow the line of the paw because I don't like the way the gold line is through the paw. But if we curve that out, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's much better. Then it's not destroying the design of the paw. Like it's a little more discreet. So, so if you're doing the wings, try to more follow this angle of the wings and then you won't have that issue because now this part is slightly distorted but I don't think there's much. We can roll that out a little bit to lift it up. That's another hack, just kind of roll it out. Yeah, there's ways, there's always ways to fix things. And if you don't like the shape of these wings, you can make them in any shape that you want, but at least the design is there. We have the, like how to do that design. I'm just looking here. And then this part, the gold is showing too. So we can maybe, we should angle that gold here. We should angle it there too. So it's just little finishing touches that are gonna help it look more finished. And there we have the paw with the wings. They're very large wings, but that's okay. So let me show you more in flight. You're true, yeah, you're right. So there we go. So there's that one. And like I said, you can make the wings any shape you like. So now we've done two, so let's do another one. So what do you guys think? Which one should we do next? And I'm gonna grab a sip of water. And you guys can let me, love it, thank you. This guy's so cute too. This guy's so cute, I don't even know where to start. And this was like based on my little doggy, standing doggy with the, made out of a paper clip. I'm gonna try that guy right now because he's so cute and so small. Let's make that little guy. I, the paper clip wouldn't be long enough to do it, but let's try to make him out of gold. So just for fun, that's, I'm sh pretty sure eight inches should be plenty for that. So let's get that. The wings outward look great, thank you. 123 in Winnipeg, Winnipeg. That's my dad was born in Winnipeg and he grew up in uh, Regina. So no, he was born in Regina and grew up in Winnipeg. That's what happened. Okay, so let's try to do this little cute little guy and then we're going to do another one. So Mirta, you can let me know which one you wanna do. Upside down, twice now. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and do this guy. So where do we wanna start? We're just gonna start maybe with the ear. I'm just gonna start with the ear. I wanna make them really like pretty small, though maybe I shouldn't make them so small so you guys can see how he looks. So we're just gonna do like the little cute little ear. And like I said, this is like the doggy, I made a dog and cat chest set, I think out of paper clips. And that's where that one design, that's designs from. So we're just gonna go ahead. I mean, you can literally trace this as well. It's almost to the point where I'm tracing it. And we're gonna do like the little doggy and then we could just bring it around here so that's little doggy cutie and then we can do the wing so we're gonna bring this one down and then bring that one out a little bit so let's just see how we're where we're at with this design actually it's pretty close in size to the template and then we're just going to bring this one here and you could just curve it like that. And then you can go ahead and whoopsies, that happens here and then here and this one here and here. Okay, so perfect. So where are we at here? So we've got that guy. And we're gonna bring that one around up, curve it. Okay, that's cute. And then up here, we're gonna bring that one down. 
down and then we'll curve it out. About like that. And then we're gonna curve it around or you can get a round form to do that. So if you do wanna get the round form, you can just go ahead and let me bring this one up and bring that one around here. So here's the little wing, the little guy. Oh, he's so cute. We're gonna bring this one down here. Okay, and then this guy, we're gonna take that and bring that one out, straight out. Okay, and then this one, what I did with that one was more, when I made the actual chest set, cause you want, the idea was, would be for this one to stand up. So here's this cute little guy right now. And when I made him stand up, I'm just trying to think if, if I could, I just did like a half curve back. I think that's what I did. But if you wanted to make it more, let me just try it like this. Yeah, I think I just did it a half curve back here. That's what I did just to give him a stand. It doesn't have to look like a foot because it's gonna be flat on the table. So I just did this, gave it a bit of a curve, like curve it around. And then it's worked really well with the paper clip too. So we're gonna take this and bend it up, okay, like that. And then to make the tail, you could bend it like I did in the drawing or maybe the doggy's tail more does something like this. So we're gonna do that. And let me just make sure we have this. The idea is you want these to line up. So we're going to get that one there. Those are gonna line up the intersection and you can get the flat pliers. This is like a really stylized design. And then the idea would be to take this, I'm just gonna bring them like that. And then you can clip it. Oh, so cute, maybe a little bit more. Depends on your doggy and the tail. So, and then this one, I think I just cut it. I just clipped it, that's all I did. To, so, it, so it's got a little bit of balance between the front and the back. And then let me try to stand it. You won't be able to see it well like this, but this is the idea. So it will, whoopsies, it will stand. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so he will stand. Let me just double, double check that he's gonna stand, yep. And then I'll show you guys what he's gonna look like. Texas, yoo-hoo. There we go. There's our cute little one. He's so simple, he's so cute. So that's doggy number three. So let's do another one. Ah, <sighs> which one? He's adorable. This one's cute. Maybe we'll do that one with one piece of wire. Let's try that guy. Okay, I will maybe try rose gold this time. I like to vary the wire a little bit. So we've got rose gold, maybe 12 to 15 inches. I'll cut a little more than like there's 12 and I'll cut about 15 inches. This, this rose gold is quite soft, but that's okay. El perro es muy bonito. I understood that. Thank you. Randy thinks it's a cutie. Thanks, Randy. So let us, let me think. Where am I gonna finish it? That's always the question. I think when in doubt, finish it at the top. I think that's the easiest thing to do. And let us go ahead and just try to trace the template so you guys can see how, how to trace the templates. And this one, you can um, keep it quite loose. If you want to, like, if you don't want to destroy your fingernails, you can take uh, pliers and just go around and I also uh, recently, somebody shared a tutorial that I'd done in the Wiremakers Club to make your own jigs out of foam. Like you could just stack a bunch of fun foam and put pins in it and to make your own like very impromptu 
uh, jigs. So that's one way to do it. I'll link up that video be uh, below as well. Cause you could, you know, in theory, put the templates on a piece of foam, put pins in strategic spots and then trace it. So I should show you guys how to do that because that's, that's fun. And it's especially good if you have trouble with um, proportions and, and percept depth perception and that type of th stuff. So, so what I'm trying to do now is just keep this loose. Just gonna go around, keep it loose. The, the rose gold is good for that. And if you need help, just get your pliers and then you can just like kind of pull it through like that. And we're gonna bring this one around. It's always good to lift it up off and on the jig. And then we can just bring that one around. I'm really trying to keep this one quite uh, loose. Sometimes you have to tighten it up a little bit with the, with the pliers. So this is what we have so far with this one. And bring that down a little bit. And then over here, could do a little teeny loop here, but trying to keep it quite small. Just gonna start the loop and then you can pull it to make it smaller and bring this one up. And then this one too, you can give it more. If you want a sharper bend, just take your flat pliers and give it more, a sharp bend and push it. And then this one here, you can just bring it up. So this is what we have so far. And we have to bring this one in a little bit more. There we go. And then bend it around for the back. Hopefully that went in enough. Okay, so this leg ended up being a little bit on the chubby side. So let's see if we could bring that one down a bit and bend that one up a bit. Just cause the foot ended up being a little bit chubby. This, this wire is quite soft. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that down a little more, bring that one up a little more just to make it like not so chubby. And then we're going to bring this one around, see where we're, our proportions are, it's not too bad. Bring that one around. I don't want it too stuck out there. And I can just bring that one out a little bit more, flatten that one out a little bit more. So we're gonna hold that there and then bring that one up. This is where you wanna like hold it on the template a little bit. And when the wire is soft, you can just go ahead and it's like literally tracing the pattern with wire. So I'm just gonna push that with my fingernail, but you can go in with your pliers and sharpen those curves a little bit. So we're gonna bring that one here, bring that one around. And if you wanna do the loops, you can start them with your pliers and then just tug it a little bit. And then that's gonna make a nice little loop, not too big. And then the same here, you can go here, give it a little tug, start it, tug it, and then around. So that, see how cute that is? It looks really cute. So now we're going to take that one around here Wings turned out really well, exactly like the drawing. And up here, what I wanna do is take this one and form the ear. So we're gonna take that, bring it to the front, make sure that's a good position. I think that's good. And then from here, we can do it with our, with our pliers. So round or flat, depending on how sharp you want the bends, also depends on the type of ear you want. Sometimes I do them more round, sometimes I do them more sharp. Okay, so here is what we have so far. And then this one we could bring to the back. Now, if this 
wire was longer, I would have made the loop out of that wire, but I didn't plan ahead for that. So what I'm going to do is actually take this and then bring this one over a little bit. See like that? And then I'm actually going to bend this up at an angle. So this one will be the loop. I'm, in fact, I think I'm gonna put beads on it. And then I'm gonna take this and wind it around. So now I have a little more wire to work with. Okay, so let's clip this guy. Uh, making wire flower dolls for ornaments. Ooh, that sounds beautiful, Tish. I'd love to see photos of that. Amazing. Okay, 24 hours. Is that for the subtitles? Yes, yes, definitely you can have subtitles after, I think it takes 24 hours, that makes sense. And any of my videos, you can put subtitles in the different languages. And I actually have a little blurb that I cut and paste to tell people how to do that. In fact, well, you guys are looking at that. Let me find it because it's very useful. Open reset. Uh, subtitles, wait, file. Open reset, add subtitles to YouTube. So here, let me put, oh, it might be too long. I'm gonna to try to post this in the comments, how to add subtitles. It's a little long, so I will put it in two, I'm gonna put it into two chat things. So there's one and then two. Does that make sense? That's how you add subtitles, so. Uh, let me know if that makes sense. So here's, look how cute that doggy is, guys. <gasps> I really like how that turned out. Look at that one. He's adorable. So let's put some beads on the top of that guy. I'll show you what beads I have. And let's see what I got. Something pretty. Maybe a miracle bead. Mm. Have a sip of water. So... But it want, you want it to kind of suit the color. I have some of these really pretty, pretty little miracle beads. It's like a pearly miracle bead. And then maybe a crystally one. Well, that one looks a little gray now, but there's... No, I find that one looks a little gray now. How about a pearl? Let's put a pearl on there. And make it look nice. Uh, let me get a little pearl. I mean, you don't have to put beads, but this could be a sun catcher. If you made this larger and put a bunch of beads on it to hang in a window or just to hang somewhere, it would be very, or a Christmas ornament you could do, or holiday ornament. You could definitely do something like that. And I'm just seeing what other beads would be pretty to go with that. I don't have any rose gold beads. That would be nice, little, cause that, the gold kind of clashes. But if I had rose gold beads, wouldn't that be pretty? Do you guys have rose gold beads? Let me know in the comments if you have rose gold beads. So right now, I'm just trying to do some interesting beads on there. I'm, I'm a little bit limited in what I have. I can try, I don't know what that one is. It's a teeny tiny bead. I can barely get it out of there. I have pink beads. Non-tarnish. Copper works the same. Don't have any rose gold, but now I want some. Yes! Yeah, I definitely want some. I'm gonna see if I can find some somewhere. Here's, I have a pink cat's eye bead, but I think that's gonna clash too. Yeah, that's not gonna work. And there's, I have a purple one. Purple's not, actually, purple's quite pretty with this. I had some, I had some light purple beads, but in the miracle beads, but I think they're gone. I think I've, whoops, that's red. Nope, I think I don't have any more, but now maybe this, yeah, it looks funny. It just, it kind of slightly clashes. I don't think I like that bead. Let's put, what's this one? This is, that's, no, that's not good. Anyways, I'm wasting your guys' time with this. 
Oh, what about purple like this? A bigger purple. That's kind of cute. I don't know. I want to keep it simple, but I also want to put enough beads that it looks like it could be a sun catcher or something. So we're going to just put a few more and then we're going to decide. So that's interesting, but that's maybe a little bit too much. How about something like that? What do you think? Is that, that's too dark, okay? Let's just keep it simple. Mm, mm, oh, what about making a bead out of rose gold wire? Let's just try that. Let me take a little piece of the rose gold and we could just make like a little spring or something. And, or you could do like a little chaos bead or something. So let's just get a piece of, this is where I kind of get sidetracked and do other stuff that maybe I shouldn't be wasting my time on, but it's always interesting. There we go. Jean, hi Jean. Rose gold on Amazon. Mmm, nice. So we can, uh, maybe we'll tr start by doing like maybe a little spring thing and see how that looks. Yeah. But it might just look silly to have a spring like that, but we can try it. So here's just a little spring to see if it makes sense on there. We're gonna try it. And you could probably do a little chaos bead or something, a little spacer bead. These are like little spacer beads. Next time I go to my wholesaler, I'll see if I can find some rose gold beads because they probably have some. So you could just do like a little, a little spacer bead type of thing like that. And then maybe put a pearl on top just to change it up a little bit it's kind of interesting i don't mind that maybe i should do another one to make it let's try another one okay we're gonna try another one we're gonna go with like that and that and that okay let's try that and clip that and clip that one because yeah if you don't have rose gold beads you can make some little spacer things like this and then we'll see how it looks because I just found some of the other beads weren't really working so let me try that oops flower gardens are a mess hmm pearl wrapped in rose gold that would be nice pearl wrapped in a rose gold that'd be cool so here's yeah this is good for now I'm just gonna do it like this so we have a little bunch of beads there and then if you want to do a, a kind of a bale thing at the top or just a loop you can do a, a double one or a single one depending on what you want to do so we're just gonna maybe bring that around a couple of times and clip the end so that's it for now for that one and then i can show you guys how it looks it's super sweet there we go and you can embellish it any way that you want so here is this guy and then maybe i'll just do one more i like the way that one turned out i think that's my new favorite so we have one two three let's do one more um Let's see them. Two names you wanted. Oh yeah, no, I'm uh no, I'm not selling them. I just I think I did drawings. Was uh, Jean, you were the one that asked for some names. I think I drew them out of out of uh, to show you how to make them. Mm hmm Thank you. That's it. I think I even tagged Jean when I um when I posted them. So if you go to the community section and scroll down, you should be able to see them. So this guy's also cute. This one is more like a, a cartoony kind of doggy too. This one, I guess you could do in the same way as that. So that one maybe is a little redundant because we do it in the same way, but let's try to do a kind of a cute, like a cute little cartoony dog. Let's see if we can do that guy. And I'm going to get some 20 gauge again. Uh, where's the 20? There we go. 
Darby and Trista. Yes, yes, I did do them. And I could find the link and send it to you as well. Yeah, yeah, I drew them. I drew them out. Exactly. Thank you. So now let's get a piece of wire, another piece, maybe 15 to 20 inches. And the idea here would be, I wanted to do the little head like that, but also if you, let's try something different to get the halo with a different, hmm, I'm just trying to think of the best way because there's a couple of ways I could do this. I could do the dog here. So we've got the dog, oh, can you guys see? Yeah, we've got the dog, we're gonna do up here. I could do a loop and hang the halo, or I could wind it around. Let's try the loop. Why not? We got nothing to lose, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and more to one side, I'm gonna do a loop, I'm gonna do a little loop. Let me move that, actually we don't, we really don't need that loop to be very big. So I'll just do a little loop. And then we want to form the head. So we're gonna take this one down. Hopefully we can get it even around here. Do a little wider on both sides there. And then we are going to do floppy ears. Let's bring that one around here. And maybe down here. I'm going to try that. So if we do that one, and then here, let's see if they're even. They might be a little uneven, but that's okay. So I'm going to bring that one here, a little more maybe. And then I'm going to get this and bring it down. So now we have our goofy little doggy face and hmm yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'll get my looping pliers did you use that something whatchamacallit to make them the jig no I did not use the jig I did them freehand but Jean why don't you email me at info at heatherboydwire.com and we can discuss that because if you wanted to make them with a jig, I could probably figure that out as well. But uh, why don't you let me know exactly what you want and then we can go from there because so far all I did was a freehand drawing of the names. So you, uh, yeah, you can let me know if you want to make it yourself or, or what you want to do with that. So I generally don't sell the names though. I have to be honest. I really don't have a lot of time to do custom names because I have a lot of um, other items in my Etsy shop that I do. So I, the only names I really do is when I'm customizing things. So if I make a wedding cake topper, I'll do people's names, but generally just the names, um, I don't usually do them, but we can always discuss it. So here is the doggy's face here. And we're gonna bring this one around. Uh, make sure that's there. So make sure that's even. So that's gonna be sort of the doggy's face. I think I'm gonna attach the, um, the body after. So we're just gonna play around with this. This is gonna be a fun design. This is gonna be the fun the funner design of the day. But what I want to do is, oh boy, I'm hardly, having trouble getting it even. Let's not, let's not overthink it. So there's that. Now we want a nose, but I'm just hoping the 20 gauge wire is gonna fit on here. Cause what I might, what I wanted to do was stick a wire, uh, stick a bead on both wires, but I don't know if it's gonna be big enough. So the doggy's nose, not sure what color it should be. Red is maybe, a, I don't know if it should be red or pink or black. Oh, I can't do black. I don't think my beads are big enough, but I don't even know if I can fit these beads on here. I don't think I can fit these beads on here. So let me know what, what color the nose should be because I could also use a seed bead if these don't fit. Yeah, that one's not gonna fit. 
I think the bigger bead might fit. Let me just check. Uh, pink is a safe color uh, for a nose. Okay, so let me just see. I think I only have hot pink and black. So let me just see what I, let me just see even if this size fits on there. Cause that size, it might be a little big. Oh, that's too big. That looks silly. So let me see what else I have. Um, because the black ones, I think is not going to, uh, you definitely need the four millimeter bead, but now I'm not sure that this is going to work. Uh, so let me just see, or I can do, I could just wind a little bit of wire around there too. Light might work. Let me just see if I can get, let me get some black wire because that might be easier. Uh, size would be, um, okay, let me try this. I'll wrap a little bit of black wire on it. And if it doesn't work, we'll do something else. Uh, brown nose. Aw, Lucy says she has a brown nose. Aw, cutie. So I'm just gonna get some black wire to try this and then we're going to see. So what I can do is actually wind it up here and slide it down because it's gonna be really awkward to get it to sit right, like to wind it underneath there. So what if I just do three little turns of wire. Let's see if that's going to be big enough. It's going to be smallish. Let me fix that, line it up. You could even actually use 20 gauge for that. Let me just see how it's going to look. If I bring that down, hmm, maybe even wind it a little more on top of itself. Okay, this is another experiment, guys. We're going to see if it's going to work. And what if I wound it on top of itself to make it a little bit thicker. Um, okay, we're gonna try that. We're gonna see how it looks. And if it doesn't look good, I can remove it, no problem. Okay, so, yeah, you could send me a message on Etsy, absolutely. Easy sleazy, so there we go, so here is Here's the nose, which looks a little funny, but that's okay. We're just going to try it. Perfect. So if you have a bead that fits on the wire, you can also do that. But this is sort of what I've coming up with so far. And then the idea would be to split the wires one on either side. This is, I'm just going from my sketch here, so we're gonna see what happens. So if we put it on either side, and you could either do beads or not beads, but now the beads might be a little big. That's what I'm worried about. What color eyes do dogs have? I don't even know, are they green or blue? I don't really wanna use all my green beads, but maybe I have another different green beads that I can use. Let me just have a look and see. Let me know what color doggy eyes are. And I might or might not give them brown eyes. Oh, I don't know if I have brown. I don't know if I have brown beads. Yellow. Let me just put a bead on here to see if the size is right. Or maybe black. Maybe I could just use black. That might be easier. Okay. Blue. Ooh. That's cool. Oh, black doesn't make sense because the nose is black. So it's not too bad though. Um, I don't know if I have any brown, round beads. I have these really cool iridescent beads, but I don't know if they're a good shape. Like they're more like a seed bead type thing. Let me see what I got. These are so cute. Let me try these. Uh, Okay, so there we go. Uh, the community section, I could, you know what I could do? Here, I'm going to, I can do that now. Let me just go to the community section and I can grab the link uh, because I think it was a while ago. 
Oh, here, it's right here. Here we go. And I'm gonna cut, copy that link. And here is the link. So Jean, I'm gonna write your name here. Oh, I spelled it wrong, of course. Jean. And then we're gonna paste the link. So if you click that, it should take you to the image on the community section. And then you could then you can find it. Hi Becky. My ex had a dog that had one blue. Ooh, that's cool. So now say we put these ones here. This is these are sort of iridescent beads. But you can also do knot beads if you want. If you want to do knot beads. These are kind of funky. They're not quite the same size. Here. This one's a little smaller. Let me try it. This guy's a little too big. Okay, let's try this. So here. They're kind of cute. I don't mind the I don't mind the beads. They're they're very cool. They're iridescent. So the question is how am I gonna get them to stay in place without them slipping? So I'm just gonna hold this. I think it's good. Maybe I can like adjust it a little bit more because they, they get really distorted when you wind the, the beads with wire. But if you start the bends first with your pliers, it helps. And then just check that they're in the same position. So we're gonna bring that one around. Should be good. Okay, so there's one. Let me clip that one. We're gonna clip it and then we'll just push that little end in. And then this one too, we're gonna make sure that's in a good place. Should be all right. We can bring the bend in a little bit more, bring it around. Oh, did I do it right? Yeah, yeah. Could have gone above them, I guess, too. So we're gonna clip that. And so now we have the face. I mean, just the head is cute too. You don't have to put a body, but let's clip that a little bit more. I didn't, I didn't cut it enough. So now it's not gonna sit in there. So I wanna get in there a little bit more, cut a little bit more off. Okay, so now push that one in there. So there's our little, Aw, our little eyes, they're cute. It's so tiny though, but you're gonna be able to see the picture in the community section. I kinda of wanna put the ears out a little bit too. So that's super cute, just a little dog face. And like I said, if you have a bead you wanna put for the nose, if you have, if you can fit your wires through it, but I don't mind the wounded, the wounded, wound wire. And what I wanna do is keep going with my design here, which is that, and do a body. So let's do that. And just scrape myself, that wasn't smart. Okay, so now, ah. So did you see it, uh, Jean? You were able to see it? Hopefully. So now let's do our, we're just gonna do the body. So I will, Form the body, there's the leg, and bring it up. We don't want it too big either. So bring that one up, and then bring that one. Mm, you know what, I'm just gonna bring it down, I think, and then keep it simple. Uh, we could actually bring it up, bring it up around here, curve it around, and back to sort of represent the back. We call it a haunch, the part of the leg. Amber knows all the parts of the animal's bodies. So we're gonna bring that one down and around. So here's our basic body shape-ish. And now we wanna bend this over sure it's not too wide crazy easy <laughs> it's uh, yeah 34 years of experience and I know it's 34 years because well almost because when I I met Mark in 1989 and 
in two days, it's our anniversary of the day we met. And when the day we met, he handed me a piece of wire and I started making wire stuff. So it's almost exactly 34 years, which is really cool. And Mark was making little wire bicycles and sell them on the, selling them on the street in old Montreal. So a lot of you know that story, but some people don't. And that is you know, his, history in the making. That's that's how I got started in wire. And I had actually started making wire jewelry myself, but with just little scraps of copper wire and stuff. And um, he handed me some aluminum wire, which is what he uses to make the bikes. And that, uh, I just got hooked. I just love it. It just, um, I started making all kinds of like funky earrings and different things and custom orders and stuff. So, oh, this is, the body is so cute, guys. But now we want to make sure that we have it uh, in the right place. And I wanna bend these back. So I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip this because I wanna bend these wires to the back. So position it in the place that you're going to want it. Not too tall, not, not too short. Oh, he's cute when he's chubby, but he's also cute when he's taller. So decide on your ideal length and then you can take this and bend it back. And same here, we want to bend it about in the same place. So let's just make sure it's going to be, yeah, you could even have his head on a little angle too. So these are bent back at a right angle. And then I'm going to bend them straight down. And this one too, maybe what we have to do, we might have to curve it out a bit so it'll sit evenly. Otherwise it's going to be on a weird angle. So I've just kind of slightly bent that up on an angle. So there's our, our body. And then we want to hook it, hook it on here. So have this one in the position you want, stick this in here and this one in here, and it's going to dangle super cute. And these maybe have to be pushed in a little bit more. Maybe just a little bit more, not too much either. Okay. And that's all right if it's moving around. And now we're going to take this and bring it around. So we've got one and then this guy around here. So we've just made these little loops so this can dangle and genius, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, the dangle is cool, eh? I like it. So there we go. And that was because I didn't know how I was gonna pull off the design. So sometimes when you have issues, you come up with very um, interesting solutions. So all oh, cutie, so this is gonna dangle Maybe it's pulled too far apart now, but that's okay. And you can adjust it how you want. But now on top of that, you could just leave it like that. You could just make the dog like that, but I wanna do a halo. So I'm just gonna get some 20 gauge wire and, oh, you love him. Thank you. Let's get some 20 gauge wire and do our halo. And all we have to do is hook it into there. So now let's go ahead and see what size we want to do the halo. We're going to curve it around and I want a decent size because some of the other ones were too small. So maybe this size ish, we can always adjust it a bit and bring that one around here and this one. And yeah, I've never owned a dog. My family had a dog growing up, but he wasn't a really nice dog. So um, we never had any dogs after that. We, we, we got a reject dog, which was too bad because uh, uh, my aunt sent it to my mom on the pretext that her son was allergic to dogs. But then we realized it's because the dog wasn't uh, particularly uh, agreeable. I mean, he was okay, but he didn't like my dad for some reason. He used to pee on his pillow, which was not that nice. And um, my dad, yeah, really did not like that dog. <laughs> Unfortunate, but that happens. We had him for a long time. 
Oh, his little poodle. I think he had health issues too. He was a very stinky dog. But uh, maybe we just didn't know how to take care of him properly. But we had him for a long time and he was part of the family. He liked our bunnies too. Actually, all the animals got along. We had cats, we had bunnies, and they all used to like hang out together and stuff. So that was fun. Of course, bunnies are my favorite. So now we have the halo and I'm just wanna, I'm not gonna do a coil or anything like that. We're just gonna leave it like that and pinch it in place so it stays nicely. And from here, just decide on how high you want it. And then you can hook it onto here. So I don't need it too high. We're gonna bring this one here and Great job, thank you. We're gonna bring this one around. Yes, definitely catch the replay, I'm almost done. And if you guys have to go, you can catch the replay. I'm gonna bring that one around here and hook that one in. That should be good. Maybe I'll bring it a little bit lower so we can curve it a little bit lower there. I didn't think about doing wings for this guy. I think I'm gonna leave him without wings. I'm gonna keep it simple. Of course, you guys can do any combination of these things that you like. And this is fun because it dangles, like the halo dangles, the dog dangles, and you might have to maybe curve this out a little bit more so it's going to, like, so it doesn't slide when you, yeah, the trouble is it's gonna slide a little bit when you hang it but you might be able to, if you curve it out a little bit, like have it a little bit more of a, a point up here, it might hang better. Otherwise, maybe you could, I don't know, tie it. Yeah, it's okay. If you give it a little bit of a point, whoops, it should hang all right. So let's see what we did, guys. I'm just going to get a hard surface to put everything on. And a dog we used to have didn't like guys wearing a hat. <laughs> That's so funny. Dogs are funny, eh? So here is the cute little dangly guy. I'll bring them up closer so you can see it. Here's the paw with the wings. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. This was the first one we did with the little doggy with his eyes closed. You'll be able to see these better in the photo when I post it. And this guy, that's this one I really like with the, um, the rose gold and the continuous uh, lines. I love that one. There's that guy. And then this little guy that actually stands up, super simple. I really love that guy too. So let me bring these up so you can see them. You guys can let me know in the comments which is your favorite. Make sure that we could see them well. The paw with the wings can be, yes, definitely, yes. You can use that for any animal. Double dangle dog, you like the double dangle? Awesome, cool. So I will take a good picture and put it in the community section. I'm gonna flip the screen and say bye-bye. So let me do that now. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for hopping on the live stream. That was super fun. And uh, yeah, we'll have another video coming Saturday. Might be delayed till Sunday. I'm going to see my sister in Ottawa. She's uh, here from out west. She's from Salt Springs, so she's coming to visit. And um, yeah, and then next week, let me know if you have any other ideas for the live stream. I'm always open to doing your guys' special requests. Thank you, Amber, so much for uh, moderating the chat and always doing the timestamps. Uh, within a few days, Amber usually puts together the timestamps so you guys can hop to whatever project that you want to see. Uh, it just saves a lot of time if there's only one of these that you want to make. And uh, thank you, Mirza, for suggesting the dog angels. Thank you, everybody, for your great feedback and ideas. And uh, yeah, we'll see you the next time and have an amazing day, an amazing night. And sorry, I can't see your comments now, but thank you everybody and we'll see you soon. Bye.